If you're a year one student in RSU and you've been given an assignment question on, on orthography projection and you're it on Wednesday, then this video is definitely high. My name is Lakwa Rebari Chulami and I was going to be teaching you guys how to draw or convert asymmetric drawings to orthography projection. If you're new to my channel and you're to smash the subscribe tab there, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video so that the algorithm actually push it to more audience to watch the video. Okay, so with much being said, let's So very basically there are there is this system to two. First of all, I will start by drawing one vertical line, okay? And then I will measure a 0.5. 0.5 from that line, okay, 0.5 up, 0.5 down. I want to draw two vertical lines, 0.5 apart from each other. So I will join that at 0.5 apart from each other. Then I will draw a perpendicular line to this line, that is horizontal lines, okay. At any point at all, there is no specific measurement for it. Okay, so I've done that. And I also make sure that um it's long, okay. And then I also do 0.5. I'm actually good at, I can actually use my eye and gauge, but please make sure you measure yourself with 0.5. So after doing this, uh, we are doing first angle projection. So we are placing the front view, side view, and top view, okay, in this manner. So looking at the diagram displayed on the screen, you can see that the total length there is 60 millimeter for the front view, okay, 60. I see it there. Okay, 60 millimeter. That's why I actually measure 60 there for the front view. So that is now you actually go up five millimeter. Okay, look at this is on actually on, then the other side is also five. So we're going here to 5, uh, 0 0.5 cm, then we'll join. So after joining, we can see that, okay, this part here is 10 millimeter as given in the diagram. So we'll measure 10 millimeter, that is 1 cm, then, okay, then it's there. And then we're also going up to 20, as I showed you guys, 20 from the diagram. Same to two also goes for the right hand side, 10 and 20. So I'll go 10. And also go up with 20. Please draw at my pace, okay? At that point, you're having 10 up there. Remember, we are presenting all the front view on the plane surface, and then 10 there too. So I'm going 10. When I say 10, I mean 10 millimeter. That is 1 cm. If you look at, you have a center line there. So I'm dividing this 60 at total length into two, having 30. So that 30 points, I will draw a center line, okay? Now, at that point, I'm using a 45 degree set square to make that my V there. It's isometric, that is in CC and that is because it's an isometric dream, but so I'm doing it in full scale now. Um, in the 2D, so I'm using 45, okay? I change it because that was too big, but it's the same thing 45, 45. So, having done that, let's get this down part now. If you look at that part, is 0.5 cm, okay? That part, so. Uh, and we're also giving the length of this small part, so we can actually use 2.5 by dividing 0 0.5 by 2. So we're using 2.5 ahead exactly for this part. 2 .5 for this part, and by we measure 0 0.5 from that and 20 millimeter part, okay? And then I join up and I also join down. I hope you guys understand. If you don't understand, you can please replay the video. Now we're done with the front view. Let's draw the side view now. The side view, we're actually seeing this part and this part, okay? So let's get to it. So if I draw, I'll make sure I elongate all my projection from this front view to the side view, okay? Exactly. So after doing that, we can see that the side view length is 40, okay? So from the base, remember, our, and that's our base, exactly. So I'm using 40, 40, and we're going up by 5. So same with the measure, I've already elongated the line, so I'll just go up 5 and join, yes. So the main part, okay, I told you anything at the back will come towards the front, anything inside in, in drain photographic, they come towards the front. So there is, there is 10, okay, so it's 20 I mean to say. So I'm going 20 length, and then we see that 40 as the bread. Actually, you're actually done with this, it's meaning the hidden parts. I just elongate that small part, and then you use the broken line. We depict hidden details with broken lines, okay? So after that, let me transfer my measurements from the side view to the top view or the plan. So with my compass, I make some um elongation, and then from that end, okay, I draw a semicircle. Yes, you get it from the end, and then from there, I will then draw a perpendicular line. Just straight, okay. I can go ahead and draw my line. All right. I'm also doing the same thing too for the front view. I'll elongate the front view downwards. 
you know when you know this innovation you know, makes our drawing very very easy this is the center line that's why i didn't use the thin normal elongation okay and let's draw the top view top view now we have this part here okay as a top view that part okay so that part here we're having length as 40 and breadth as 10. so we'll go 40. so it's not measuring for the same i already have my elongations and able to just make it perfect so following the front view i just go 40 10 able to just match up next is one up okay 10 and 40. uh-huh just look i forgot to link the up so sorry we'll do that one just exactly for the left hand side too so i'm just going my 10 to 40 with a measurement and just go and just make the past ticking enough because i've already elongated that's the most advantage of, of elongating okay now let's enter the right hand side that's h2 no we're surprised in the right hand side so in the left hand side okay so we're also doing the same thing too for that part okay and then the up part too i should have more videos like this so you can check on the description part of the video there are more videos on autographic projection you can learn and watch okay so i just have to do kukuma close everything because it's actually make, really making sense the whole thing is being closed there okay so this center line now uh, it's not broken again because it's a view from on top you actually see the, the joining points of those two lines now from that point i will actually draw a broken line to show that that's the hidden details under this stuff here okay okay for the broken lines so guys this is the autographic projection of the whole thing thanks for watching please endeavor to subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next episode bye for now